Hey everybody, it's Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Garuda Linux GNOME. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you want to follow me on my socials, they're down in the description below. Also, if you'd like to become a patron of the channel, in the link below, go visit Patreon, visit eBuzz Central, become a patron, help support the channel. Garuda Linux GNOME. I've covered the KDE version of this distribution, but today we're going to be taking a look at the GNOME version. When you download it, throw it on a USB, or open it up in a virtual box, this is the desktop that you'll be met with. It just says Garuda Linux Battalore, a rolling release, fast, friendly, performance-focused OS. Garuda is loaded with amazing tools and supported by a great community. Then down here, you've got a Garuda Assistant, Garuda Settings Manager, Garuda Gamer, Garuda Boot Repair, Garuda Boot Options, Garuda Network Assistant. All of these are to help you if you should run into any problems there. And then, of course, you've got the extras. You've got Partition Manager. You've got Restore a Snapshot. That way, if you've taken a snapshot of your system and you've had something go wrong, you can come in here, restore it. You're back up and going with no problem. System Cleaner. CH root, add and remove software, quick access, or install Garuda Linux. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that. We're going to go up and click on activities, and that way you see it brings up this screen. you got your GNOME dock down here, and then you've got your workspaces that you can pick between. So we're just going to stay on the main workspace. And then you've got Garuda Welcome, which we just read. You've got Terminal. Let's go ahead and run Terminal. And let's see if they've got HTOP out of the box, and they do. At present, which is pretty impressive, I've issued this machine 2 gigabytes of RAM. It is actually running at rest 842 megabytes of RAM. CPU-wise, I've issued it two CPUs. It's running just under 28, 29% on one CPU and 2% on another. That's not too bad at all. As you all know from watching my videos, I always do just two CPUs and two gigs of RAM because I want you to witness how these operating systems would operate on a lower spec machine. So we'll go ahead and close out of HTOP. Back to activities, you've got File Dragon, you've got Files, Time Shift, and Tweaks. Let's look at Fire Dragon. Okay, Fire Dragon has seemed to open up. Let's go ahead and maximize that. As you can see, it looks like a web browser developed by the Garuda team off of the Firefox base. It comes out of the box with Dark Reader enabled, Canvas Blocker presets, and then New Tab. I want to see what kind of search engine it comes with out of the box. Okay, I like that. This is their home screen, I take it, for new tab. Let's go ahead and do a search for eBuzz Central. And there's my channel, eBuzz Central on YouTube. And it looks as though we're running the Garuda Seer X search engine, which is awesome. We don't have Google or Bing or anything like that out of the box. So let's go ahead and close that. Garuda Linux, this is their web page. If you want to download and give Garuda a try, you would go to garudalinux.org. And it just says, Welcome to Garuda Linux. It's got some spotlights for easy installation, Unleash the Beauty, BTRFS default file system with compression, automatic snapshots out of the box using time shift, graphic user interface for managing drivers and kernels, graphic user interface tool for various common tasks, grub boot options, network assistance. So it's a very clean, it's a very concise operating system. So let's go ahead and close out of Fire Dragon. I really like that web browser. Let's go back over to activities. Let's open their file manager. File manager is opened up. Let's move it in the center of the screen. This looks like files, but I'm going to go ahead and double check. Yes, it is files version 40.2, which is what you're going to get with the GNOME desktop. We'll close out of that. Over here, you've got your usual suspects and you got your little icons next to them. So that's just a aesthetically pleasing look. And then, of course, the desktop documents, downloads, music, all your folders in here. Plus, it's showing hidden files. Is that enabled from... Okay, out of the box, it's enabled showing you hidden files. If you don't want those to show, you just come over to the hamburger menu, click on it, go down to show hidden files, and it will take them out of your way, and that way you've got a cleaner look. That's the file manager, and I do believe you can make these a little bigger, so if I wanted to go to... There you go. I could bump them up to 100% if I wanted to. You just have just a little bit of customization with their file manager. Manager, so we will close out of that. And then time shift, for those of you who don't know, depending on whether you've got the rsync file system or the BTRFS file system, we know that Garuda comes with the BTRFS. So you'd want to click on that. And what you would want to do is click next. And what it's going to do is it's going to take a snapshot of your system. It will take an initial snapshot of your system, which will be about two gigabytes in size. But after that, all the snapshots that are taken will be just of things that have changed on your system, whether it be documents you've added, apps you've downloaded, It'll take a lot smaller snapshots 
And then if you ever do run into a problem, you can go to the restore from Snapshot. It'll restore your whole system and you can move forward. So let's close that. And then tweaks. Let's kick on tweaks. And the first thing it shows you is that extensions management has been moved to GNOME extensions. What you can do is you can actually go to the GNOME extensions online through your browser and you can control your extensions from your browser. If you find an extension on GNOME extensions website, you can install it and then you've got an on and off switch that you can actually use in your web browser. It makes things a lot easier. And we recommend downloading GNOME extensions from Flathub if your distribution does not include it. If you don't want to run it through your browser, you can always download it from Flathub and have it locally on your system. So we will continue. In tweaks, the first thing you have is general. you got animation, suspend when laptop lid is closed, or over amplification. You've got appearance. You can change your themes over here if you want to. But this being out of the box, being the look of Garuda that you want and you're leaning towards, I wouldn't change any of that. You're open to do whatever you want. Fonts, right here, if you want to change your fonts, all you got to do is say, okay, interface font I want to change. You click on it, pick the font that you want, Pick the size that you want, hit select, and it'll change it globally for you. Now, if you like everything that's here, but you want your fonts a little bigger, all you got to do is come over here and click on the scaling factor, and it will scale them up for you or down. So that's based on your desires, wants, and needs. Whatever you want it to do, you can set it up to do for you. Keyboard and mouse, you can come over here and make all the changes you want to your keyboard and mouse. Startup applications, if there's things that you don't want starting up at the beginning, these right here, Garuda Linux, initial user setup, flame shot, disable, desktop, these these are standard with the operating system. But let's say you download an application and you're using it and you find out it set itself up into the startup. You can come over here, remove it from startup, and it won't start until you actually tell it to. Okay, top bar right here, activities, overview, hot corner. We've already got that. Battery percentage, it's not up here, but if you wanted to turn it on, all you got to do is click that. And as you can see, it says 51%. You can turn that on or off. On the clock, do you want the weekday? Do you want the date? You can click on date and it'll show you the date up here or you can turn that off and then you can show seconds if you want. And then on your calendar, if you wanted to, you could show week numbers so that when you opened your calendar, it would put 35th, 36. You can see over here it's showing the weeks or you can shut those off, click them off. And then when you go back, they're gone. Windows title bars, toggle, maximize, minimize. A lot of people will download GNOME tweaks just for the simple fact that they can have their minimize and maximize buttons. If for some reason you don't know this already, let's say you've got a GNOME desktop and this is what it's got and you don't have minimize or maximize. All you got to do is double click the title bar and it will maximize and minimize whenever you want. Windows, uh, edge tiling, center new windows, whatever you want to change on Windows, you can do right here and then your workspaces so let's go ahead and close out of that now let's look at the apps that come with it you've got add and remove software let's go look at the software center and your software center is going to look a lot like what you get on manjaro for the simple fact that it is an arch distribution first thing you want to do before you do anything before you install updates before you install apps pay attention to this go to the hamburger menu go to preferences it will ask you for your password but because we're in a virtual machine live environment it's not going to do that but it will once you enter your password go to third party on third party, make sure that enable AUR support is clicked on. It is, so we don't have to touch anything here. And then you're going to want to go back over to general, verify that check for updates is on, and you're good to go. You're going to want to come over here. You've got updates. It will check your system for what kind of updates it needs. It will scan them. It usually takes a little bit, but once it's done scanning for updates, it'll show you how many updates you got right now. Total download size of updates. I have 1.1 gigabytes of updates that are due, and that's from everything from Lollipop, I have GNOME, MPV Media Plus. Player. So there's a lot of updates in there. So we can go back to browse and then you'll be able to go in and do things like look up applications. OBS pops right up. You could do Caden Live. There's a Caden Live. You can run it as an app image or you can download the actual application. There's many different ways to get software on Garuda Linux. Advanced Network, Alacrity, Archive Manager, Celluloid for Pictures, Firmware, Extensions, Document Viewer, System Monitor. You've got Settings, Disks, Text Editor, Calculator, Fish, Flameshot, Garuda Assistant, Cheese for your webcam, Garuda Boot Options, Garuda Boot Repair, Garuda CH Root, Garuda Gamer. Then you got Garuda Network, System, Gestures, HTOP. You got Image Viewer, Pace, MPV Media Player, Micro Lollipop, Kavana Manager, Reboot, Software, Token, Yad Settings, and then Wi-Fi Hotspot. So that was a quick look at Garuda GNOME Linux. Run on over to the website, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual box, give it a shot. Do me a favor before you go today, like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, also, if you want to follow me on my socials, it's down in the description below. And while you're at it, why don't you become a patron of the channel? Zip on over to Patreon from the link below. Go to eBuzz Central and become a patron. Give us some support. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.